Welcome to this Catholic Mass on September 8, 2024, the 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. The celebrant for this Mass is Father Jason Dewar, pastor of St. Patrick Parish in Manly. This Mass is sponsored by the Diocese of Lincoln. Thank you very much for joining us today, and may God bless you. of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, thou weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was, so weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the living water, thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus as I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in Him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise, Praise the Lord, my soul. soul. The God of Jacob keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. 
The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow of the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations, alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord, Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. proclaim the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked, at, looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephaphatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel is kind of an odd one with our Lord Jesus taking this man off and doing all sorts of really weird things, but it's a lesson, a very simple lesson uh, for us that Jesus knows us, uh, our Lord knows each of us uh, individually, and he knows us so well, and he knows exactly what we need, and exactly what we need in each moment of our lives. And our Lord, knowing this, also knows that we have our own plans and we have our own way of going about things, but in his patience, uh, he works with us. So let's entrust ourselves even more so uh, to our Lord and his specific plan for us. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us man, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, who's crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, glory to judge the living the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and his Son, with the Father and his Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life the world to come. Amen. Confident that God listens to our needs, we present our prayers and petitions in faith. That the church, guided by the Holy Spirit, will faithfully proclaim God's law as revealed through the sacred scripture and tradition. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders will work together to find avenues of peace among nations and sustain a vision of hope for the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all grandparents, that they may experience the joy of family, the blessing of health, and the gift of gratitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as our nation recalls the attacks of September 11th, we may renew our gratitude for the liberty we, en we enjoy in America under God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our lives and in our laws, we may never discriminate against the poor, the immigrant, or the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have difficulties in hearing and speech may always be welcome and assisted by the love of the Christian community modeled on the example of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who have died in Christ may be welcomed into the light and peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God, we offer you our prayers. Open our hearts to listen to your word and our lips to proclaim it without fear. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty 
and by, by partaking the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery, and so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we name your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
gracias, mi Dios. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares could destroy, be there at our waking and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Lord of all eagerness, Lord of all faith, whose strong hands were skilled at the plain and the lathe, be there at our labors and give us, we pray, your strength in our hearts, Lord, at the noon of the day. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares could destroy, be there at our waking and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Lord of all eagerness, Lord of all faith, whose strong hands were skilled at the plain and the lathe, be there at our labors and give us, we pray, your strength in our hearts, Lord, at the noon of the day. Hello, my name is Bishop James Conley, the Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Lincoln. As Catholics, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is the greatest and most powerful prayer we can offer because it is through the Mass that we celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. We are happy to make this broadcast available for those who are unable to come to Mass in person and also for those who are not Catholic but might be interested in our faith. If you would like more information about the Catholic faith, please use the information on the screen to contact us or you may contact your local parish. Thank you for joining us today. May God bless you and your loved ones.